we connect some of these components. So that's the flow guide. This is the platform. Those are in place. This is the tool. It's just blunt dissection for that purpose. Yes, right. Pretty much all, yeah, so all blunt dissection using the hemostat will be You can get house to the right. So, I'll hold this open for you a little bit. And you put that right on the rectus muscle. Okay, now, the direction to aim for is towards the coccyx. Okay. So if it's if it's on the right side, you'd be going this way. And you push forward, you feel up. Good. Let me check it out. Perfect. Yep. It should move kind of easily. Okay. Now, sorry about the pretend part. You have to hold the hub with one hand and remove the tail car. And then screw this out. That's good. And you would look at this point, and what you would see, I apologize, it's not on the screen. Uh, what, you would, you would, what you would see would, would be nothing distinct. It will be blurry vision contact. But when the patient breathes, it will move. And you'll see blood vessels move by, and fat, and, and, uh, and the white color of the viscera. Um, if you see that, you know you're into Okay, so take the scope out. You put in a little bit of air. And the infusion of air does not hurt at all. If it's, if it's causing pain, then I check again with the scope because probably there's a chance you're interfering pre -peritoneal. If it's pre it will hurt. So the patient should have no pain. And you'll see the abdomen jiggle a little bit as the air goes in. You okay. said about 20? Yeah, at first about 3. Okay. Then we put the patient into another. Then about 20 squeezes. And so the belly will be getting a little bigger. You can hear a tympany with the uh, air. And you know that you're just developing a sufficient airspace. Good. So you take that off and you put the scope back in. Okay. And then you have a look. Yes. And then you, yes. Then you look again and then you see the pictures like I showed earlier of distal vision. You can see omentum, you can see, you can see valves, you can see parietal peritoneum, you can see the issues. Do you advance it further? Do what? Do you, are you advancing this any further? Yes, right. Under vision, like this, I would, and then you begin to advance it to where you want the scope. You can go to the right side or the left side, whichever seems longer for the better. So, okay, I'll let you advance it. And you just keep, I go a little further. You go until you right, can't go anymore. Either this hits the skin or you run out of space inside. Okay? You take the scope off. That's good. And then you will you should rotate this so that the tab is towards the bottom. A little hard to do. But grab this tab here. You can pull this off here. And grab the tab right here at the bottom with these hemostats. Perfect. Okay? Now, I'll have you pull the, the trope arm out. Perfect. And now we can readjust this a little bit to make sure that the famous head lays on the skin. Okay, great. Then you dilate this. Now you'll, you'll put that in. And then you'll get better visualization. Oh, that's right. And you feel it like give way. Good? Okay. Okay. That was a symbol of catheter. By the way, I, I have to rinse the catheter in saline and I squeeze this underwater to be able to get rid of the bubbles. And then I inject the right of the saline. Why do we have to do it in this way, not in this one, the other side? Sorry, what? We are telling us to do it in this way. Can, oh. we, can we do it again, please? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, we must do it in this way, not in this. Uh, well, uh, you want it to lay against the parietal peritoneum. 
So if it lays this way, it's going to tend to go more into the, into the valves. So it should be either this way or this way is okay. This way or this way. In fact, it, it doesn't make too much difference because it's pretty floppy. But, it, but it's a good idea to keep the blue stripe on the top or the bottom. Okay. Now, as you advance this, yeah. hold it about in the middle. Okay. Yes, it's about 10% uh, capacitor so yeah. closer in one half. Yes, because ours are, our surgeons put up them in blindly, yeah. yeah. and they, you know, they don't so check them when they put them in. <laughs> yes. So, so, well, yes, you can check it out. Yeah. It in. yeah. But you once it's in, if it's put in blindly, you yeah. really can't, you really can't do it. But we should, they should be checking them at the time. Yeah. It would just, yeah. Yes. What do you do then? Just, A uh, fluoroscopy. Uh, because actually you can reposition it. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, uh, let's have you hold hold the thing with the, the cool guy with your left hand. Hold me to hold this. Okay. And hold the catheter down here. And advance advance the cuff until it hits the muscle. Okay, okay stop there. That's good. And now uh, we'll place this right behind the cuff. Good. Yeah, that's good. Now you hold all three of these just, just like it was one instrument. Yeah. Just like this. Okay. That way? And then here, like this. Uh, and then you slide the cuff in the Okay. Okay. That's good. You got it. Now pull the quill out. Perfect. And then we take the slide that out. And you take that. Good. So when you're done. If you put a finger here, you can feel the cuff against your finger. <coughs> okay. Great. All right. And you're flushing it. Flush it. Flush it. Yeah. You'll see what the, yeah, you'll see that there's motion up and down with inspiration and that the fluid comes out easy. And that part's done. Just good. Okay. Okay. Um, so, then you can uh, get in through the did you say it has to come out uh, behind the yeah, it doesn't matter okay. just, just, just come down here okay and hold the stripe on the bottom We have a little resistance here, so we'll rotate back and forth a lot. There you go. Good. Okay. Now, uh, grab the catheter lightly with the hand side. And pull it out. Pull it out. Yeah, that's what it is. When it gets in all the way, you dive slightly as far as you can. Pull okay. that through, the cuff should go into the muscle. Or into the subject tissue. Yeah. You just push that down. Yeah. Cuffs right here. You can open this up and see there's a nice round curve. And the cuff will be right at the muscle. Okay. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I think you'll do very well.